Thanks for joining us at 11. I'm Annette Pegler. And I'm Patsy Kelly. First at 11, the city of Myrtle Beach hosted a community discussion about hate crimes. Officials from the U.S. Attorney's Office, the FBI, and local law enforcement led the conversation. News 13's Adriana Lawrence is live in our newsroom. And Adriana, what did they talk about tonight? Patsy, Annette, the event United Against Hate focused on how to identify a hate crime or incident, report it, and ways to prevent it. There is a federal hate crimes law that we can and do enforce and really encourage people to report. Community members from across Myrtle Beach came out to talk about what a hate crime looks like and how it's affected the community. In November, two people allegedly burned across towards their black neighbor's home in Horry County. Since then, communities like Myrtle Beach and Conway began working towards adopting a hate crime ordinance. Adair Burroughs, the United States Attorney for the District of South Carolina, says even though there's not a state law, there are federal ways to enforce and prevent hate crimes. The feds or the FBI can feel like this scary thing and, and we're just people. We're South Carolinians really trying to enforce federal law here. Officials from the attorney's office and the FBI spoke about the differences between a hate crime and a hate crime incident. In 2022, the FBI says South Carolina had 60 total reported hate crimes. 63% were related to race and ethnicity. The FBI said hate crimes are not reported enough. Ryan Thompson attended the event and thinks having this type of open discussion is important right now. Being one of two states without a state law, I thought it was really important to come here, hear what resources we're going to be here and just kind of see what's going on in the community. The victims of the recent cross burning incident attended and described their experience. And then to have the victims of the cross burning be here, I think was just very emotional and very touching for everyone to see the actual victims of what's going on here and just what do we do to go forward so this doesn't happen again. Burroughs encourages anyone who sees or experiences a hate crime to report it to local law enforcement or the FBI. Live in the newsroom, Adrian Lawrence, News 13.